If you think that's wild, this honker right here is gonna blow your mind. You guys are not gonna believe the interior of this sucker. Let's get inside and check it out. Holy guacamole. This thing is noiser than my house. The attention to detail is immaculate in this kitchen area. You got a noise breakfast bar area. And then over here in this farmhouse style sink, you're loaded up with your bartending goodies. Cutting board here, drying rack here. I'm not exactly sure what these do, but I'm pretty certain they're for bartenders. So if we got any bartenders, let me know what this is all for. And I forgot what these are called. Uh, you put your pint glass on it upside down, it sprays up water. I know it works because I pressed down on it and it shot antifreeze all the way up to the ceiling. All these cupboards in this kitchen have this woven wiring on the outside, which is really nice. And up top, above your double door contour refrigerator, you got a little wine rack. To the left of that, you got a nice tall pantry. And then above that, we have some more bonus storage. I don't really know what the point of that is, but it's more storage. This living area houses your dinette, two sofas, and a nice theater recliner. It's also got the electric fireplace underneath your huge smart TV. If you want to set these up for sleeping for guests, it's easy to do so. Bada bing, now you got sleeping for four guests out here. It's worth noting both of these have USB and USB-C ports right next to them, so your guests will be able to charge up at night. Next, we're gonna head down the hall. Across from this nice big sliding glass door is our bathroom. Big spacious bathroom, big porcelain foot flush, a ton of space in your standing shower with a seat. In the shower, I've never actually seen one of these. Push it open, pop the fan on, and it's even got a little ring light on here. Next, we're gonna head up these stairs to not one, but two lofts. That's right, folks. We got two lofts up here. This first loft is a perfect play area for those kiddos. They can oversee the entire camper right from here. You can also throw a mattress up here for a kiddo if you want. It's got USB and USB-C alongside some power outlets on the ceiling. Directly across in our other loft, we have some more headroom on this side. You could comfortably sleep two kiddos up here. Finally, we're gonna head down the stairs and to the right into our master bedroom. Wowie zowie. This bedroom houses a king bed. To the left of that, you have your own private little electric fireplace. To the left of that, you have a massive closet with hookups for washer and dryer. And you also have your own private entrance and exit. Your fuses and your battery disconnect are also located in the master bedroom as well. You can power off everything from the comfort of your room. This is a park model, meaning it's not intended for frequent mobility. It's a really good option for families going south for the winter. You can see we got all our goodies out here, a spot to mount your TV, your outdoor speakers, and some power outlets. Over here, you got a leash latch, so your furry friend can't scurry off around the park. And then up top in the back, you can mount your ladder to walk your fully walkable roof, check your solar and your caulking. If you got any questions on this luxury destination trailer, please give me a call. My phone number is in the bio.